All right, so we're at the 2012 Super Bowl, and I have a few questions for you. Yeah. So the first question is, what is your name, where do you live, and how old are you? Uh, my name is Philip Warren Gertsen. I'm 21 years old, and I live in, <coughs> in Helsingborg in Sweden, or actually Gantofta. Okay. Uh, but I was, I'm actually originally from the Philippines and Norway, so that's where I'm born in, in Oslo. Okay. Uh, how long and how many years have you been freestyling? I've been freestyling for um, six years with a nine-month break in 2007 due to injury. Okay. And in freestyle, what you know, what tricks are you you know are your favorite and that you really practice and and and, and are kind of known for? Um, I basically practice more of the creative style, the more of like new tricks, trying to come up with new things. Also love the footbag style. Um, with a lot of scoops and clipper eclipse um, and dragon stall these are the things I practice most okay uh, tell me about the four styles of freestyle and what you think about them mm. um, ground moves is one of the styles that I don't do it's actually the, the only one I don't do um, uppers is one of the most amazing things but I really can't do it so I never Never really practice it more, more than not than I have to. Um, sit downs is really like what I practice when I'm injured. So sometimes, like maybe t twice a week, I practice sit downs, and it's really I really enjoy it. But creative lowers and block tricks and foot bag stuff is really what I want to practice. Okay. Uh, tell me when you decide uh, to. Uh learn a trick, uh, what is your process to kind of master it and what, what do you go through to, to become good at it? Um, well, nowadays it's more of like trying to invent new tricks more than trying to take someone else's trick and do it. But sometimes I just see another trick and then not copying it but trying to do it better and innovate it. Okay. So I try to... Uh, I don't dot it down into different. I just try to put, go straight on what I'm doing, and then try to, you know, trying to record it, tape it, and see what I'm doing wrong, and everything. So it takes a couple of days, and the progress is quite long to master one trick. But at the same time, I practice many tricks okay. in, at the same practice. Okay. And is that typical? You know, do you think that creative? Freestylers uh, do things differently than the guys who are, sort of, say, hardcore. Um, yeah, I think that I think they do because we think um, in a different way. Uh, we have to actually think more um, because we can do an easy trick, but it's hard to come up with. Um, while they do stuff that are really, really difficult, but er anyone can like come up with a combo, uh, a hardcore or lower combo. Tell me about video, the internet, and how that plays into freestyle, and you know, how do you use video? Yeah, well, um, YouTube is, is the best thing that ever happened to freestyle, and um, without YouTube, we haven't, you know, freestyle would have been nothing today, just like 20 years ago. It would be a couple of, you know, guys just doing freestyle, but... Um, a lot of forums, uh, as Beyond Football, Soccer Grip, NAS, Learn to Freestyle. A lot of these uh, freestyle forums where freestyle can talk together about about freestyle, uh, about general stuff, makes you like know all the freestylers in the world. Okay. Tell me, uh, how do you communicate mainly with other freestylers? Um, well, mainly it's it's Facebook. Today. And um, some guys, like in Sweden, I just keep contact with, like, uh, with, like calling them and, and stuff. And um, sometimes I use like these applications, these free applications in which you can, like, yeah, like Skype and WhatsApp, so that uh, I, I can keep constant um, contact with freestylers. Tell me why you started to freestyle. What moment changed you from, uh, you know, potentially a soccer player into a freestyler? It started in 2006 when me and my friend was, was watching the internet and there was this Swedish community site where um, having this, uh, you can pay some money to get um, a text uh, on the site so everyone can see. So um, this guy named Tom in, in Sweden, he posted a video on this in this community 
and I was so so surprised that people can do that with a football. So me and my friend went out and it was like half a meter of snow and we just shuffled and we just had a shovel and just removed all the snow and then we started practicing just to tr try it out because I couldn't really juggle but I, I actually made it like in a, in a month I could do like five or six tricks and I was really hitting it off with freestyle but I was still like a really good football player so I didn't really practice that much back in 2006. Tell me what you think is the difference between freestyle and soccer. Well, mainly the difference is that, as you say, freestyle, it's, it's free. You can do whatever you want. You can practice whenever you want, where you want. So you don't have any coaches that will tell you what to do. Um, in football, I had a lot of problems with coaches telling me, do this, do that, run here, run there. Um, I really want to, to, to be my own man and just be the, um, the coach of my own, on my own practice. So I'm really disciplined myself, so it goes well with my, my practice that I can practice uh, like a couple of hours a day, um, in which I didn't like in football at all. Um, when I got to the age of 15, 14, 15, I didn't like that coach is telling me what to do. All right, tell me about Prague, you know, how many times you've come here, why it's important, and what it means to freestylers and you personally. Um, Prague is the best, the, the best event, in my opinion, that ever happened to freestyle. And this is actually my fourth year. I've been, um, been in the Prague competition ever since it started in 2000 and 2009. So... Um, I've been following the, the progression and it started off with like 50 freestylers I think and now there are like 200 freestylers here so the progression is huge and the development and the interest of, of the Prague competition is just sick and in my opinion I, I go here not to, pra to, to, com to be in the competition mostly but I, I want to be part of the freestyle meeting and like I really don't want to feel the pressure of, of doing stuff, but I really want to meet other freestylers and, and jam and meet them. Because you, you see people coming here from all around the world. And as a Swedish, Norwegian, whatever freestyler, you don't get to meet South African freestylers and Trinidad and Tobago freestylers or South American freestylers every day. So uh, with meetings like Prague and, and meetings in general, the world, the, the freestyle world gets so small so that in here you have like 25 nationalities or something. There's so many people. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.